Hi, I'm Nigel, and this is Nigel Goes to Space. I'm an astronaut going into space with Virgin Galactic, but how do we get to space? And how do we get back again? What's the physics of how we get there? Well, our main problem is gravity. Gravity is the enemy. It's what holds us on the Earth. If I take my apple and I drop it, that's what pulls it down. And I've got to get that apple going up into space. So we need force to get us off the ground. And that's why we need rockets. You can take an aeroplane, that gets you up in the atmosphere using the air pressure to get you to a height. But of course, when you're in space, the air runs out. So you need something else to take you there. And rockets can travel through a vacuum. Any kind of spaceman or space person needs a rocket to get up there. Now, with our system, we go on a plane first, which takes our rocket up to a certain height, and then the rocket takes off. But then the rocket takes over and that blasts us upwards against the force of gravity. What I'll be doing with Virgin Galactic is going on what we call a suborbital hop. That means we just go up and down again. It's like throwing my apple up and down. That's what we'll be doing. I'm uh, just spending a few minutes out there in space. If I want to get higher, to get into orbit, to go around the Earth permanently, uh, like the International Space Station does, you need to go a lot faster. Not more oomph in your rocket power. You need to get to a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's about 17,000 miles an hour. And so if you want to go up to the space station, you can be a space tourist. You can go for a week on the International Space Station, courtesy of the Russians who will blast you off in one of their really powerful rockets. And that's fine if you've got the odd $50 million to spare. If you're lucky enough to visit the space station, of course you're in space and you can stay up in space for as long as you like because it goes around around the Earth until you decide to come down yourself. But you're not free of the Earth's gravity. Gravity is still the force which is controlling it. And if you think about it, that's why it's in orbit. If that's the Earth and station is going across like that, Earth is pulling it down. Otherwise, it would just float away altogether. So Earth is pulling it down by its gravity and the space station is falling, but it misses the Earth because it's going at that incredible speed. And then it comes around and it keeps trying to fall down, but it's going at incredible speed. So it just goes over the edge. If you want to get away altogether from Earth's gravity, you've got to reach escape velocity. Now, going around the Earth, as I said, is 28,000 kilometers per hour. To escape, you've got to go even faster, 40,000 kilometers per hour, which is a cool 25,000 miles an hour. If you've got that power behind you, and that's what the Apollo astronauts had when they went to the moon on the mighty Saturn V rocket, you can break free of Earth's gravity, travel to the moon, you can travel onto Mars. But even when you're out there, you're still in the grip of gravity, the sun's gravity, because the sun controls the Earth and it controls the Mars. So even if you try to get to Mars, you're still feeling the power of the sun. You can never get away from gravity altogether. So you're up in space, having a fantastic time, but one day you're going to come back down again. So how do we get back? Remember, you're traveling at incredibly high speeds, and our problem is now is not gravity. Gravity is going to pull us down. We've got no problem about that. But you're going to hit the Earth's atmosphere, and you're going to hit the Earth's surface. And you don't want to be traveling that fast when you do that, so you've got to slow down. When the Apollo astronauts came back from the moon, they had a blunt capsule which went into the Earth's atmosphere. The friction heated it up, but it also slowed it down to the point where you could put parachutes out and then you just float down to the ocean. Think about the space shuttle, that had little wings. It came into the atmosphere, its underneath got really heated up by the atmosphere and it lost its speed. It did big S-shaped turns going backwards and forwards and then it came and landed on a runway. What I'll be doing is going at a much slower speed, so we don't need to worry about getting heated up so much. We'll just come down, we'll experience some g-forces, that's not real gravity, that's being pushed back into our seat as a plane decelerates, and then we'll come down and land on our wings back in our spaceport in New Mexico. Join me again on Nigel Goes to Space to hear more about the universe, how we get there, and the answers to your questions. Don't forget, subscribe now to Naked Science.